What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com. Check it in with another Machine Masters exclusive tutorial. What we're going to discuss in today's tutorial is the external instrument feature in Ableton and how you can use it for internal instruments such as contact or machine or uh, east-west, anything with uh, multiple outs, uh, UVI, things like that. What I've learned is that a lot of people are, when you're using your contact instruments and you got all these contact libraries, what a lot of people are doing is they're loading up multiple instances of contact uh, when in fact you don't really have to do that. Uh, you can load up one instance of contact that has multiple outputs uh, that you, you can then uh, use the external instrument to trigger those sounds. So we're going to get into that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our plugins folder and go to wherever you have your plugins at and I'm going to use contact for this example so right over here you see I've got contact I've got contact 5 then we've got 8 out and then we've got 16 out now these 8 out and 16 out correspond to the stereo outputs that you can have within contact for every instrument that you have loaded uh, so for example with 8 outs you can have 4 stereo instruments or 8 mono instruments and with 16, it'd be 16 stereo instruments or 32 mono instruments. So I'm going to load up this contact 5 with the 8 outputs. All right, so there we go. We've got it loaded up here. Now I'm going to load up, uh, just I'm going to load up Drum Lab right away. Now the thing we want to pay attention to is you'll notice down here in the mixer, you see you've got stereo output 1, then you've got your auxes. Augs 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're not really going to pay too much attention to the auxes. The main thing that we're going to talk about is the stere stereo outputs. So right now, if I was to start pressing buttons on my push, see as I hit the pads on my push, you hear the, the drum lab instrument. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lay down uh, just a little quick loop. All right, so there we go. Quick loop in Drum Lab. Now you notice that when Drum Lab is playing, you notice out here on the stereo output one, we've got the Drum Lab sounds playing. Now if I come over here, and you'll see it's meter right out here. All right, now say you want to add another instrument. Now say we want to add the gentleman to this. So normally what people would do, like I said, they would close this out. They come over here, they'd open up another form of contact, pull up the gentleman, and be done with it. Well, with this version of contact with the multiple outs, you don't have to do that. So I'm going to minimize this. Let's load up the gentleman. Just going to drag it right in. So now this part right here you want to pay very close attention to. So the gentleman is our second instrument in contact. So right here where it says MIDI channel, we're going to make, make sure this says 2. So if you go to port A, channel 2, A2, all right, it's already there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the gentleman to go out on its own stereo output. And do that by hitting this arrow right here and we're going to create a separate master output channel and now it's going to be properly named the gentleman now we come right down here where you see this one slash two if you click on this now you can see plug-in out number one plug-in out number two these are the outputs for uh, contact so what I'll do is I will go ahead you can click on this and now you see you can uh, you can set your different outputs. So we're going to just go right here to augs1 slash 1, which is plug-in out number 3. And then we're going to go to number 2, which is plug-in out number 4. 
So now what we've effectively done is we've created another output for the gentleman and instead of these auxiliary channels going out on their own on their own channel, we're actually going to be assigning they, those outputs to the plugin output. So we've got three four, we're going to hit OK. You're going to get this message. It's going to be OK. Just hit OK. All right, so now we've done our part in contact. So let's close out contact. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create an external instrument uh, right next to our contact instrument. So just grab an external instrument, drag it right over. All right, so now it's over here. This is the part right here. So right down here, you see that you've got MIDI 2, and then you've got a drop-down menu that says no output. Then you can't really click on anything else. Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to send the MIDI from this channel to another instrument. You dig what I'm saying? So when you click on this drop-down menu, right away on top, it's going to show all of your hardware outputs that are MIDI out. So I've got my push. I've got my machine out, the Scarlet 6i6, you know, and all the different outputs for my iConnect. But right here, you see you've got contact one, you know, number one, which is channel one here. And it's the contact five with the eight out. So we're going to click on that. Now, when you do that, now you get all 16 possible MIDI channels that you can have in contact. Now, remember, we set our gentleman to number two. So we're going to set this to number two. And right here from where we're going to get our audio, audio from, we're going to choose contact augs number one. Think of it as this is outputs three and four. This is five and six. And this is seven and eight so we're gonna hit that so now if I record enable external instrument 2 you see you're getting your piano to come through so now I can actually go ahead and I can actually create you know a little riff here So now you see that Drum Lab is playing completely independent, and then we've got the Gentleman's Pianos playing completely independent also. So again, this is just the Contact 5 8 out, so I could do up to four stereo instruments if you wanted to use a lot more of your Contact library. If you had a whole lot of Contact instruments, as you see, I've got a f quite a few here. You could, you know, use the 16 out, and then you can continue building from there. Make sure you head over to MachineMasters.com for more exclusive tutorials. This is James Jackson signing off. Peace.